Hello, this video is about ISI Indian Statistical Institute VSTAT and VMATH solutions. In this video, I will be giving you a Mato solution that is a test of mathematics at the 10 plus 2 level and solution of the previous ISI questions. Remember, I will be solving the subjective and objective both. And at the end of the video, I will give you the link of my study materials and where you can have it and how you can proceed. So for the time being, let's start and always remember the, after the questions are given, give it a pause, just press this button on your YouTube and take some time, try to solve it yourself and if you can't solve, then you know what to press. Okay, so let's start. I am uh, going to start with a very normal way, uh, test of mathematics question number one, very first question. Uh, some of you have it, some of you don't have the book as it is not available right now on any of the websites. Uh, so I will give you the question. If you have it, you can just open the book. The first question is a worker. So it's about a working class people. So a worker suffers a 20% cut in wages. Now that's very bad. Suffer a cut, 20% cut in wages. Okay. Although he is not be very okay with it. And he regains his original pay by obtaining a rise okay he once he gains regains his original pay by obtaining a rise of now this is given as 20% 22.5 25 and 27.5 now uh, our very normal uh, human mind will me tell you that okay 20% has fallen so the basic answer may be 20% and ours is done why they have given it in tomato and so famous book so it's actually the basic concept of percentage is applied so if your salary is 100 and it is fall by 20% that is 80 so if you are increasing 80 again so it will be 80 plus 16 so you reach to only 96 so the problem is you are not reaching it so here how to do this simply the new pay if you if you really want to get into the same position that the original pay was x and the new pay is actually then 4x by 5 so that is 80 percent of this so decrease in pay that's 20 percent so x minus 4x by 5 so his salary has been decreased by x by 5 that's it so remember you have to transform from percentage to value that is the key to success in this kind of question from percentage we have to reach to the value and now and again if we go to the just the other part so here to regain the original uh, part that is going back increasing and going back to the level of going to the level of x again simply the required increase of the pay will be x by 5 into now, for this part, I'm going to teach you a very unique method of uh, percentages. Uh, not only for this problem, there will be some advanced problems will also be coming later. So, for example, uh, that if a fraction previously was n by d, if the, uh, the proportion of fall is n by d, and then in order to regain to the old position, the formula will be n by d minus n. That's it. So this proportionality can be applied over here. It was first fallen by 20%. So 20% is 20 by 100, nothing but 1 by 5. So n by 5 is this. So in order to reach back to the old position, so it is n equal to 1 and d equal to 5. So 1 by 5 minus 1, that is 1 by 4. So in order to go back to the old position, the percentage increase will be 100 into 1 by 4 simply 25 percent that's it that is the basic formula for percentage structure and i'm also giving you some more uh, this kind of problems because as i in general never repeats the question papers so but if there are 
any doubts regarding this percentages so i'm going to give you some more percentage uh, related uh, topics for example uh, when a number is some notes when a number x is increased or decreased by y person then the new number so a number increases by y person that's it so the new number will be what will be the new number x into and if the previous number was x so x into 100 plus minus y by 100 so it's a very basic process of finding but if they tell you that if first a number no two a number first increases by 10 percent then 20 percent then 30 percent then falls by 30 percent then falls by 15 percent then increases by 20 percent like this if this goes on and on you don't need to calculate every time all you need is one more basic multiplication that is the basic number was maybe the basic number was 500 so if the basic number is 500 so you write 500 so first time it is increased by 10 percent 10 percent means what 10 percent minus is 0 0.1 so we just add 0 0.1 with this which will give you 1.1 that's it so simply this will give you 1.1 if it is increasing by 20 percent so 1.2 if it is increasing by 30 percent 1.3 now if it is falling by 30 same thing only 1 minus 0 0.3 that's it so 1 minus 0 0.3 we will do so this will give you 0 0.7 and in the next time 1 minus 0.8 15 so 0 0.85 and 0 0.8 and so on and so forth so this product is your answer so in, if it is given in a person b person format then also you can do this kind of stuff now coming to the and for this kind of i have given a link to this kind of related percentage videos as this video is mostly dedicated to isi's previous year solutions and the tomato so i will be focusing on that now next part is use green the second question uh, in this uh, tomato book so what they have given is if m men can do a job in n days so m men they're doing the job in n days good Robin, okay, this is D days. D days. Then the number of days for which M plus R number of men can do the job. Okay. So if the number of people are increasing, obviously days will be falling. That's a very basic thing. Okay. So here again, man and day has a very interesting relationship. There is a very basic part. Previously, we used to do most of the cases, people apply some method of unitary method. So now without unitary, there's a process M1, D1 by M1, D1, H1 by W1 equal to M2, D2, H2 by W2. Now this one is a very basic formula. For example, 10 men can do a work, each working three hours a day and they can finish the work in five days hour 20 men and they are working only one hour a day they're working for three days and they have done one third this like of stuff if this kind of questions are given so all you need this is the main this is the day each day working this is the amount of work it is done so any one is absent so you can directly put in this formula and solve it easily now if we are about to solve the next part uh, so here and see here in this case h and w is useless for us so we are not be using this stuff so our new formula is m1 d1 equal to m2 d2 just replace so m at the place of m1 d1 will be replaced by d m2 will be replaced by m plus r and all you need is d2 so obviously the answer is m d by m plus r so in a very quick section you can do it and you can check it in your uh, tomato book the option is d so now i'm proceeding to question number three question number three says a boy walks from his home to school at six kilometers per hour this is his home and this is school
so this is the speed is 6 km per hour and although this doesn't look like a home and it doesn't look like so much school but for us some we can take it this is so a boy walks from home to school at 6 km per hour in general the human being speed is 5 to 7 km per hour so it's a perfect sum and he walks back home at 2 km per hour so what's the average speed so the answer first can may come to your mind okay so this must be 6 plus 2 so 4 is it 4 and obviously you see the answer is 4 and you become so happy and you put it option B but actually it's not that thing so whenever in ISI level or in tomato level question any answer comes to your mind first after seeing the question possibly it's wrong okay so how to solve it so there is average speed there's a formula this is a very small case so I'm going to give you the formula at is 2xy by x plus y that's it but what happens if you have a set of three sets three speeds are given so how to solve so 3xy z so that will be xy plus yz plus zx now what happens if four speeds are given so 4a b c d and then it is a b c remembering that i am keeping a b constant and a b d and then again c d will be constant so c d a plus c d b now what happens if some five speeds are there well, I'm going to remember, obviously you can remember the above part, the below part is changing. So better, you remember it like this. It is actually n divided by 1 by a plus 1 by b dot 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 1 by x. That's it. And uh, n equal to total number of speeds. That's it. So if you put any of these formula, you can find it yourself. And obviously this much maths you can do, I hope. Uh, so this will be 2xy by 6 plus 2, so 24 by 8, so the speed, average speed is here, 3 km per hour. Next. Now question number 4 is also based on almost the same type of pattern. So in question number 4, uh, they have given that a car travels from P to Q, hmm, I, it's not so visible. Let me try some different color. Oh, they have a whole lot of colors. Okay, so from P to Q, they're traveling. Okay, and please do uh, mention in the comment whether uh, you have any doubts or you need some changes in the video structures so that uh, can be done. Okay, so uh, P to Q, I am proceeding, and uh, the speed is 30 km per hour, and uh, while coming back from Q to P. The speed is 40 km per hour and the average speed they have asked. So it's simply again the formula 2ab divided by a plus b. Now this time you don't have a direct value. Okay, it is 2400 by 70. So now you obviously can calculate but they have asked the question as which is the closest. So the answer is coming 34.285, so which is 34.29. So now it is again approximated very close to 34. Now uh, we are proceeding to question number 5. Okay. Now as this video is getting extended, so my plan is to give you some um, multiple videos. Each video will be around 15 to 17 minutes of length. In this way, it will not be so boring and you can still watch it. So um, my next question is question number six. A lot of arithmetic we have done. So let's do some algebra based. And uh, some of my uh, videos will also be based on some advanced level questions from tomato and uh, past ISA papers. Okay, let's see. Uh, here they have given let x1, x2, dot, 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 x100 be the positive integers such that xi plus xi plus 1. So, as integer and its next integer sums up to k. And k is a constant. They have given x10 equal to 1 so they have asked us to find the value of x1 so this is the basic structure now how we are going to proceed with this see now every two number is giving you k okay every two numbers is actually giving you this k so in this first part x1 plus x2 would have been k then 
x2 x sorry it is yeah x2 plus x3 would have been also k even x3 x4 in that way if we just replace it so x i plus 1 will now be nothing but the x minus k i and here if we consider all these basic patterns like 1 2 2 3 3 4 so every time the sum is same so we can replace it by k and the value of this is given by 1 so this will simply be k minus 1 now the next question is question number 8 So here they have given two trains are of equal length. Two trains are there and they are of equal length. And what is happening? And the length is also given as L. They are traveling at the speed V1 and V2 miles per hour in opposite directions. So this is the direction based structure. And uh, takes t seconds to cross each other it takes t seconds to cross each other then l in feet then they have asked us to find l in terms of feet where they have given one mile equal to 5280 feet so that is given so let's solve it so the total distance simply so the total distance will be 12 they have to cover and uh, here if we just take train 1 is train 1 v equal to 0 so train 1 is stopped okay so the speed of the other train must be v1 plus v2 and we know speed equal to distance by time so v1 by plus v2 equal to l by t so considering now convert uh, this all this uh, stuff into feet we can directly write this is l equal to 11 you can calculate this it's a very easy uh, calculation so 5 to 8 zero feet you have to provide and afterwards you will uh, get the solution uh, which will be 11 into v1 plus v2 so this part will be there by t by 15 okay now uh, in my next video I will be solving some advanced level questions on set theory and also some uh, questions on the last digit number as well and uh, my entire class structure the all the details about uh, my classes is provided so that's all for this video thank you